So if you have casting networks in the U.S., you probably have received a bunch of emails and seen a bunch of things about a new casting networks coming soon, coming in May, sometime in May. I don't know when exactly, but I noticed when I logged on to my SF casting and went to account and then link accounts, I was like, what? I didn't know this existed. And I did try to link my LA casting and SF casting accounts. It's not working yet, which makes sense because they haven't rolled it out. But there is some information here. Um, and it does say if you're subscribed to unlimited premium on your talent accounts, um, all your links accounts will have access to casting billboard. So I'm not sure what that means. I think it just means you'll actually be able to pay one for both of them. But uh, I went to Australia casting because Australia and the UK I know has the new version. I don't know if that's going to be the same that they're going to give us in the US. But a lot of companies do this where they do a pilot version, you know, in certain places and then eventually roll it out so that they can work out the kinks and change everything. So that's what I made, why I made an account through Australia Casting. As you saw, you're able to put more than one location, which is really cool. So I just did the bare minimum. Their accounts are just under $8 a month, which is cool. For them, us in the US, it's a little more expensive, but of course I did the free version to see what it's like. And this is the Australia casting profile, which looks so much nicer than the current one. This is one of the things that I, a few years ago when I did a videos on casting networks, I said that their, you know, their website wasn't so great and I wasn't sure why they didn't just update it. I tried putting LA casting on here, but it wasn't working. Um, so let's compare the two. Let's go on to SF casting and then after that, let's go on to Australia casting so you guys can see the difference, what we might be getting because it looks really good. Again, I have no idea if this is exactly what we're going to get in the U.S., but I know that we're going to get an upgrade. So I'm hoping it's something like this. Okay, so first, this is SF Casting. SF and LA Casting pretty much look the same. You know, a little bit old school. Like, everything is there. Everything is fine. The only thing I don't love currently is that you can't message directly. They have to email you first, and then you can go back and forth through email. But you can't talk in the in the app in the website in the casting website so hopefully that's something that we can do in the future with the new version this is what it looks like to look at the casting calls to look at your alerts of course the link accounts is right there and then this is what your profile looks like which is mostly you know personal information and then your resume which again it just looks a little old school it looks like it could use a little bit of a um, revamping and then now let's go uh, log on to the Australia casting, which I did create an account earlier for. And the homepage pretty much looks the same, just a different actor. This is what it looks like when you are looking at uh, casting calls to submit to. This is a casting billboard and it has a filter on the top, which the other one also has a filter, but it's not nearly as detailed as this one. This one just looks cleaner. Um, it, I mean, it just looks so much nicer and hopefully it is able to filter things more accurately for whatever you are looking for. The profile looks a lot cleaner. I did the bare minimum so you can hardly even see, you know, things on my profile, but you get the idea that this one is quite a bit cleaner. It looks nicer. It looks more professional. I just really like how this one looks better and hopefully this one will work better as well because currently I always have to contact uh you know casting networks which they are really helpful when I do contact them but usually I have to contact them for help um to upload photos videos whatever but here working locations on the Australia one you can put up to three places I tried putting LA didn't work um but I did put primary location and then two additional locations and that's what it allowed me to do for the Australia casting one. I don't know how many locations we'll be able to do in the US. And then here's the media bank. This is what I was talking about. So hopefully this will be a lot easier to upload and reorganize because currently in the casting networks it's really hard to reorganize the headshots that you have. At least it is for me. I recently had to contact um, tech support in order for them to help me out with this, which they were able to fix pretty quickly. But I'd rather me be able to do it because I don't want to bother them every time I want to update my headshot or reorganize my headshots. And then the media bin, I did try to upload my reel. It was taking a while and I don't know if it's because they still have a cap on it. Honestly, the best way is to be able to put a link like Backstage does. I don't use Backstage anymore, but it would be nice to be able to do that because it's instant. Um, here are the alerts. I don't have any because, of course, I haven't submitted anything through Australia Casting. And then 
um, if I did have anything, they would be here and hopefully we'll be able to chat back and forth through here. Then your submissions, which is really important. So you can see, you know, what things you have submitted to when you get a call back or something, you know what they're talking about. And then this is what it would look like when you are actually submitting something and then you can put your location, you can update your location right here, your photos, just like before, you know, you select your, if you have any photos, any reels, anything like that. And I thought it would be cool to show you what a casting network account looks like in case you don't have one. And then also what the new one might look like for us in the U.S. Manage talent. This one, I didn't really know what it was. I'm wondering if this is where you're going to add all of your profiles or is that only for managers? Not sure. But eventually you will have to link your account and you'll need to log in with your email and password versus what we do now, which is a username and password. I'm excited to see what the billing is like with this new casting networks because if you're going to have both LA casting and SF casting in one place, hopefully they are reducing the price versus, you know, paying two full accounts because that can get pretty pricey. I think the last time I upgraded my uh, LA casting premium account, it was around $250. So, you know, having LA casting, SF casting, that's fi a little over $500. So hopefully the billing is a little bit more affordable because that's a lot of money especially taking into consideration if you have casting frontier and actors access as cast it talent all of these different websites um it'd be nice to you know get a little bit of a break there but we will see when this finally comes out through casting networks and i will definitely make an updated video once i have all of that information i just thought it would be cool to um look at the two casting networks and get a little bit of a glimpse of what might be coming for us in the U.S. But thank you so much for watching and at the end of every video I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.